Chapter on the supplication at the time of sleep. Al Bara bin Azim narrated that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, "When you go to your bed, perform the wudu, as you would perform for salah. Then lie on your right side. Then say, 'O oh Allah, I submit my face to you, and I entrust my affair to you, and I lay myself down relying upon you, hoping in you, and fearing you. There is no refuge nor escape from you except to you. I believe in your book." which you have revealed and in your prophet whom you have sent Allahumma aslamtu wajhi ilayk wa fawadtu amri ilayk wa alja'tu dhahri ilayk raghbatan wa rahbatan ilayk la malja'a wa la manja'a minka illa ilayk amanta bi kitabika alladhi anzalt wa bi nabiyyika alladhi arsalt and if you die that night you shall die upon the fitra al bara said i repeated it to retain it in memory So I said, I believe in your messenger whom you have sent. He said, so he struck with his hand upon my chest, then said, and in your prophet whom you have sent. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Footnote. Similar preceded under hadith number 3394. Mu'adh bin Abdullah bin Khubayb narrated from his father who said, We went out on a rainy and extremely dark night looking for the messenger of Allah peace be upon him so that he could lead us in salah. He said, so I met him and he said, speak, but I did not say anything. Then he said, speak, but I did not say anything. He said, speak, so I said, what should I say? He said, say, say he is Allah, the one, and al-mu'awwidatain, when you reach evening, And when you reach morning, three times, they will suffice you against everything. This hadith is graded Hassan or good. Comments The Prophet, peace be upon him, again and again said say, so that he could remember it, and the companion kept quiet, so that the Prophet, peace be upon him, himself, may tell him what to say.